Did you know? Everything in the universe is made up of matter. Welcome to Learn Voyage. Here you learn every day and improve every day. If you have not subscribed yet you are missing out. Matter makes everything around us. Every object, substance, chemical, and material is matter. Matter can also include the device on which you are watching this YouTube video, the electronic circuits in it and component on the circuit board. It also contains specks of dust too small to notice, houses and cars, living things like trees and your own body, the rocks of the earth, the clouds in the sky, and the invisible air around you. And not only objects and substances on earth are made of matter. All of the planets and stars in deep space contain matter. Everything in the entire universe is made up of matter. All matter is made of tiny building blocks called atoms. A lump of rock that is whizzing like a butterfly in space is also a matter. The butterfly is living matter, while the rock is non-living matter. Interestingly there are places where there is no matter. If there is no matter, then there is nothing at all. The total or complete absence of matter is called a vacuum. However, an absolute vacuum is very rare. Did you know space is named because it is supposed to be just space, with no matter? Even in the depth of the space, a few microparticles of dust or some wispy bits of gas are floating about. This tiny bits of matter may be several meters apart, instead of crammed together like they are on Earth. But they are still present. A powerful vacuum pump can suck most of the matter out of a container, but can never quite all of it. Matter exists in three primary forms, called the states of matter. These are solid, liquid, and gas. In a solid such as ice, the molecules are very close together and joined in a rigid pattern. They can hardly move. So a solid object stays the same volume and does not change its shape. In a liquid such as water, the molecules are still quite close together, but they are not joined to each other. They can move about, which means the whole liquid can change shape and flow, although, like the solid, it still takes up the same volume. In a gas like water vapor, the molecules can move nearer together or farther apart. So gas can also get bigger or smaller, to fill the container it is in. A hot air balloon contains matter in the form of gas, air. The heat from the burner causes the air's molecules to rush farther apart, so taking up more room. Soon there are fewer molecules in the hot air inside the balloon than in the normal air outside. The balloon gets lighter or less dense and rises. Matter or substance can change state from solid to liquid, or liquid to gas, this usually happens by adding heat. Matter can also change state the other way from gas to liquid or liquid to solid, which can often occur by cooling. A typical example which is all around us is water. The world's water is always on the move and changing state in a never-ending process. In the water cycle, the sun warms the sea, the heat makes liquid water turn into a gas, invisible water vapor, which rises into the sky. It is cooler high up, so water vapor changes state back into a liquid, forming tiny droplets. These are so light that they float as clouds. The wind blows the droplets over the land. Some clump together becomes too heavy to float and fall as rain. Some droplets blow even higher, up over a mountain, and become even colder. They change state again, freezing solid into snowflakes. The snow falls to the ground and melts into liquid water. With the rain, it flows into streams and rivers and finally into the sea, and so the cycle continues. Let's us now understand the properties of matter. Have you ever wondered why we couldn't float on liquid water, but the insect called the pond skater can do just this? It's because the body of a pond skater is very light, and it slides or skates about on the surface film, which is like a tight skin stretched over the top of the water. The matter has many features or properties. One of the main properties is its state solid, liquid, or gas. Another property is the type of atoms it is made of. Each kind of pure substance, like iron, carbon, oxygen, or sulfur, has a different type of atom. 
The third property of matter is density. This is the amount of matter in a specific place or volume. The more matter within a specific volume, the denser or heavier the substance or object is. Dense substances like iron have lots of large atoms packed close together. Density is critical because it determines whether things float or sink. If an object is less dense than water, such as a lump of wood, it floats. A lump of iron is denser than water, and so it sinks. But if the iron is made into a boat's hull, its shape contains lots of air, which makes it very less dense and is exceptionally light. The overall density of the iron plus air is less than the density of water and makes the boat float. Here is an interesting fact for you. The plasma is referred to as the fourth state of matter. Plasma is created by adding energy to gas, so its atoms and molecules separate in a process called ionization into negatively charged electrons, and positively charged ions. You encounter plasma every day but may not recognize it. Few examples of forms of plasma are Lightning The excited low-pressure gas inside neon signs and fluorescent lights Solar wind Welding arcs The Earth's ionosphere Stars including the Sun The tail of a comet Interstellar gas clouds A fireball of a nuclear explosion Here is an exercise for you Can you determine the state of mercury metal at room temperature? Post your answers in the comments below Thank you for spending some time with us Voyagers make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being in a Voyager with us. Keep learning, see you next time.